This is One Piece, a mod that adds all sorts of pirates and new abilities into the game. Now this is Better Minecraft. I'm sure most of you know what Better Minecraft is by now, but in case you don't, it's Minecraft but better I guess. And this is Zoro the Navigator. Wait, wait, wait a minute, why is Zoro the Navigator? Do you have a problem with my navigating skills? Alright, whatever man. Anyways, over the next 100 days, I am going to be spending my time in this One Piece Better Minecraft world. My goal is to slay as many beasts as I can, collect as many devil fruits as I can, and ultimately become the Pirate King. <laughs> so sit back, relax, and join me on this journey as we sail out into the Grand Line to survive 100 days in One Piece Better Minecraft Hardcore. Wait, wait, Zoro, Zoro, you gonna make us crash? Starting my pirate adventure, I washed up on a beach and Big Mom herself actually greeted me and gave me a devil fruit. Oh, Big Mom is talking to me right now. Yeah, yeah. Since you're part of my family, same as all of my children, I will give you a devil fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Place and right click this for random devil fruit, my child. Now goodbye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is a smile fruit. It's uh, it's like what they reproduced in uh, the Dressrosa arc, right? I'm currently watching the Dressrosa arc right now, so this is really cool to see. Wait, actually, let's see what devil fruit we get. A Shiku Shiku Numi. No, this is actually a terrible devil fruit. Bruh. Ain't no way, man. Like, give me that. Get that out of here. No, I'm just kidding. Let me actually grab that. <laughs> All right. Oh man, I don't want to eat this devil fruit. It's actually such a bad devil fruit. Oh, why do I have bunny ears? Huh? No way. Did they make me a furry? Hold up, Charlotte. Dang. Oh my gosh, I'm a furry, guys. No way. All right. So the game automatically assigns your race, and it just so happens that. They made me a mink. So I, I don't want to see you guys typing in the comments. OMG, haha, taste the snow is a furry. And, and you know, there's there's nothing wrong with that. Bunny ears look good on me. Not that I know from experience, of course. But anyways, before I could even explore my surroundings, I realized that everything here wanted to kill me. Oh, holy crap, there's so many Marines. I'm actually scared. What is that? Whoa, this, oh, oh shoot, it's a buggy. Yo, buggy's chasing. Look at these. Giant boars! Alright. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, 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 I'm stuck. Oh, let me go this way. There's a house. Oh! Yo, Mr. Gatekeeper! <laughs> no! Help me! There are people out there who want my booty right now. Being trapped in this tiny house, I started to grab some wood and made myself a boat so I could escape. And while sailing, I started to take a look at the quest book and received some pretty nice rewards for starting my adventure. Charm of Life 1. I saw this girl stranded on an island and there was also a Kung Fu Dugong there. Are you stranded on this island? Oh, look at this. It's a Kung Fu Dugong. How you doing, man? How's he doing? You guys are so cute. So the girl told me that her name was Felicia and I offered to give her a ride off the island because, you know, I'm a nice guy. Ooh, watch where you're pointing that uh, blade. I saw a desert temple off in the distance, but it was guarded by a Kainu who was a marine admiral, so I had to be careful. That's a Kainu. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh, I know Geppo! Sick! I managed to sneak inside the temple and got myself some enchanted books, diamonds, and even a dragon egg. I also realized that because I am a mink, I get night vision, jump boost, and speed during the night, which was pretty cool. I think I'm getting permanent night vision and jump boost because I'm a furry. But I do want to check that um, building out. That one. Oh, there's Smoker. You see that? Hey, what's up, Smoker? Oh, no, he's after me. Run! Oh, yeah, at least I got speed three right now, so I'm actually fast. What is this? Oh, my gosh. It's Rayleigh. Give me a hockey quest. Yes, I would like to train Puso. Hurry. He's coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, you know what? I'm going up here. I'm hiding in here. Yo, wait. Is this Arlong Park? Oh my gosh, it's Arlong. Yo, wait. Hold up. Back off, man. I'm not ready to fight. I have nothing. Dude, Alvita, get away from me. Oh my god. Alright, let me just loop around. I think there should be something in here. Oh, the Kiribachi. This is Arlong's weapon. Let me go inside. 
Hopefully there's no one inside. So inside of Arlong Park, I found a lot of gold, yummy beef kebabs, and cool Ooh. weapons like a rifle and a metal rod. And metal look at this. This is the Alvida's weapon. <laughs> oh my god, I can throw it. You ready? Oh <laughs> there we go. How dare you? How dare you bully Nami? Man, for being a fish man, I gotta say, Arlong was a pretty slow swimmer. I found a diamond chest in the building which required me to spend some diamonds to make a diamond key to open it. And when I opened it, I only got a Soge King cape. It was not worth at all. The next morning, I found myself facing off with Smoker. He's one of the marine commanders who tries to capture rookie pirates like me, so I had to get into a fight with him. Wait, actually, let me see if I can fight him. Do you think I can fight him? I don't think the gun will work on him, right? Speed it up. Okay, baby girl. Oh, shoot. Okay, smoker. Okay, baby girl. Oh. Yes. He killed him. What'd he drop? Probably dropped the cigar. So <laughs> he dropped the cigar. Oh, two cigars. Oh my gosh. Wait, you need to stop smoking. It's bad for your lungs. After defeating Smoker, I met back with Felicia and we started sailing towards a marine base. But th the whole entire ride, she was giving me the cold shoulders. Oh, oh, shoot. Your neck is. Oh. She just turned the other way. This is what I call negative riz. I guess my riz only works on guys. Is that why 85% of you are dudes? You know what? Let's see if we can balance that percentage out and get some more female viewers in here. I'm going to have my sister edit and write the rest of day one and let me know if it sparked your inner girly pop. <laughs> Morning my lovelies, today I'm starting my morning routine by taking a stroll in a marine base. Hey girl! I always try to get 10,000 steps in every day as this helps with not only my physical health but mental health as well. You know what they say, a healthy body means a healthy mind. As I kept walking, some pirates started attacking me so I had to take them out. They must have been Geminis. I wanted to go to the rooftop to watch the sunset and do my daily gratitudes, but then I ran into my toxic ex. Ugh. I said, we are never, ever, ever getting back to <laughs> Okay, I can't anymore. If I keep going, I'll probably start losing my male audiences at this point. Anyways, regardless of if you are male, female, or whatever gender you identify as, I love you all. And thank you for watching my videos. Uh, uh, unless you're a criminal, of course. Luffy, what's up? Holy crap, he's Gomu Gomi no Mi 9. Gomu Gomu no Mi 9. This is the Wano country, Luffy. This is like, literally whenever he's like the most powerful. What is going on outside? <gasps> oh my god, what is Kuma doing here? <gasps> he's holding the giant Bible. Alright, I do not want to mess with Kuma. Kuma is really powerful. The next morning, I looted a shipwreck beneath the marine base where I got a suspicious stew and a treasure map. I started swimming back to Felicia, but tragedy awaited me. Wait, where's Felicia? Huh? Oh! Huh? Did she die? No! This is so sad. Oh man, my dear Felicia, where are you? Anyways, there was a fight going on nearby and I saw Smoker dying in the water. Smoker, what are you doing in the water? Oh. <laughs> okay. So, for those of you who aren't familiar with One Piece, basically there are these things called devil fruits which you can eat to gain powerful abilities. However, once you eat a devil fruit, you lose your ability to swim. Hence why Smoker was dying in the water, because he ate the smoke smoke fruit which turned him into a smoky man. On my way out, I saw Kaido and Kizaru and they were really powerful people so I did not want to mess with them right now. I stumbled upon a pillager pose and this was the most amount of pillagers I've ever seen. We gotta take these guys out. Come on. Okay, here we go. I get XP from killing these guys. Th look at the amount of arrows on the ground. I need to kill them out. Like, oh, there's Fujitora. Fujitora's coming. Oh, no, no, no. I, I cannot fight that guy. 
I can't fight that guy. I can't fight Fujitora. No, no, Fujitora. Stay away from me. Fujitora, please. Please, 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 Fujitora. I, I've i done nothing wrong. I'm taking out evil right now. Fujitora, don't you see me taking out evil? Isn't that what you want? The world to be free of evil? Please, let me take these guys out. We're going slash! Oh my god. God, did you see my vertical slash? Why was it so strong? Wait, hold up. Oh my god, he's shooting at me. All right. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm lagging. I'm lagging. Oh! Still back! Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, oh. After seeing how strong Fujitora was, I got out of there. I did see a Nels flying airship in the sky though, but I knew I was too weak at the moment to explore it, so I would do that in the future. I took some iron from some villagers and made some iron armor, and there was also this marine base nearby, so I made some iron keys and started looting the chest to see if I could find any devil fruits. And to my surprise, I actually found a devil fruit. This devil fruit gives me the ability to slash my enemies with sharp, long nails, but it was actually pretty terrible. Oh no, Kama Kama no me. Oh, I need 35 stamina. Boom, bro, this, this devil fruit is trash. After messing around with the devil fruit, I found a catacomb deep underground and decided to go explore it. And since I was underground already, I decided to do some mining as well. I found some diamonds and found some more diamonds underwater. However, since I ate the devil fruit, I couldn't swim now, so I wouldn't be able to get it. So close, but so far. A goblin trader approached me, but my man didn't accept raw iron. No, it has to be the iron ore. This is so stupid. As I came out of the mines, I had to fight Smoker, man. Man, this guy must have a crush on me or something because he would not stop attacking me. I managed to defeat oh. him and unlocked a bunch of new abilities. What just happened? Did I kill him? No way. I unlocked Armament Hockey. Oh my gosh. Look at this beast. Oh my gosh. Look at him go. I saw another purple marine base nearby, which I later realized was the Impel Down prison. So I went inside to release all my fellow pirate prisoners. Yo, come on out, pirates of swords. Oh, why are you guys hitting me? I, I'm freeing you guys. I went upstairs to find the warden, but instead I found something even better. And he can probably predict what happened next. Bottle of rum, oh my gosh, wait, actually I wanna try this. Yeah, Zora would love this right now. Oh shoot, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm moving so slowly. Oh no, I'm a little bit tipsy right now. Hey, what's up, how you guys doing? What are you guys doing up there? You know, yeah. I continued to check out Impel Down and later realized that I could check my bounty. And apparently I was already a Yonko level pirate with only a $55,000 bounty, which was kind of crazy. I found Sabo's pipe in the chest and the Senriku rifle i think that's how you say it i also found an iron box which contained the oto oto no mi and this devil fruit can transform a person's body into different musical instruments to hurt enemies but i decided not to eat it because i wanted to save my devil fruit slot for another cooler devil fruit then guess what i found that other cooler devil fruit which was the ryu ryu no mi which can turn me into a dinosaur oh this is that dinosaur one i wonder if i if i eat this if i can change into a dinosaur so the next day, I pulled a black beard and ate the Riru no Mi so I could have two devil fruits and transform into a dinosaur. Will this turn me into a dinosaur? Wait, hold on. Bro, oh my god, I'm a t Oh my god. You see this? Strapped under my chin. Imagine a dinosaur running towards you like this, and then just like... Rah, rah. Wait, what about this one? Oh my gosh, hold up. Hey... Wait, I am so fast. What's up, buggy? Oh, what was that? Alright, smoker. You don't want the smoke, I'm telling you. Oh! Imagine watching a dinosaur doing Geppo. Alright, here we go. Boom! 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 Dude, I'm just gonna stay in this dinosaur form. This is so funny. 
After messing around in my dinosaur form for a bit, I found another devil fruit in a watchtower which would allow me to shoot explosive boogers. Yes, you heard me right, shoot explosive boogers. The reason why I can eat multiple devil fruits is because I added three different One Piece mods together, but normally if you eat another devil fruit while having one already, you would die. I found another desert temple which had another dragon egg, and I also stumbled upon Baraco the Sun Chief nearby, so I fought him. Hey, Baraco. What's up? Oh my god! Dude! Alright, here we go. Oh my god, actually, he's doing kind of decent amount of damage right now. Right. Holy! Alright, let me just take these guys out. Strong slash. Alright, man. Whoa, he is ascending. Alright, I'm about to finish the final blow on him. But actually, let me do it in this form. Alright. Let's go! Day 7 was a day filled with surprising discoveries and some uh, unfortunate mishaps. First things first, I stumbled upon a guy, but then I got attacked by Captain Morgan. Oh shoot! Get this guy out of here! Dropped a, um, a chest. <gasps> the Uta Uta no Mi! So I want to save my mind piece devil fruit slot for the Goma Goma no Mi, but in the meantime, I wanted Torjni to join my crew. I want you to join my pirate crew. I want you to join my crew. Oh. Um. Ah! Yeah, I accidentally shot the poor fella. Let's just say that he wasn't too thrilled oh. about that. Whoopsies. Speaking of unexpected encounters, there were tornadoes everywhere and I just kept getting stuck in the eye of the storm. Because I literally couldn't escape from the tornado, I started to invest all of my skill points into stamina so I could use Geppo to get my way out of the spinning vortexes. And I managed to find two more guys whom I did not shoot by the way and they were willing to join my pirate crew. And the three of us stormed a marine base and took everything that they had. Yeah, yeah, eat some cake, guys. Eat up, boys. Eat up. However, the next day, as I was looting a chest upstairs, Injmar just combusted. Oh, what? Eric, did you just see that? What just happened to Injmar? <laughs> what? Both Eric and I were a little confused at what just happened, but we carried on as we knew that's what Injmar would have wanted us to do. We got attacked by some zombie villagers, and we were getting ready to raid this pillager windmill when Eric got shot and died. Get out of here! No, Eric! No! My first two crewmates, they both died! Yeah, both my crew members died after a day of meeting them, but I wasn't going to let their deaths be in vain, and I was going to take revenge for them and fight these pillagers. Strong slash! Oh, I can't even go inside. Get out of here, man. Termination? What are you guys doing down here? Let me just slash you guys real quick. Goodbye. After destroying the windmill, I explored this cake tower and there were a lot of iron, gold, and diamond blocks on the very top. I also switched out my almost broken cutlass for a saber. I started to head for the ocean, but then I just straight up started getting attacked by everything here. Oh my god. Dude, it's a freaking monkey with a sword. And in the middle of the fight, I picked up a chest, opened it, and guess what devil fruit I got. Oh my gosh, we got the Koma Koma no Mi! Alright, no way, we got this. I'm eating it. Yes! Waking up the next day, you already know I had to play around with the new Gomu Gomu fruit abilities. I want to see what this, how this looks like. Like bazooka? Jeez. Gatling. Yo, what's up? Oh my gosh, this is sick. Wait, look at this guy. Is he Bellamy? Let me just, you know, just uh, boop. pistol him real quick. How about we just bazooka? Hey! 
I caught a glimpse of the legendary Sunny, the iconic ship of the Straw Hat Pirates, so I had to go say hello. What's up, guys? Brooke? Looking snazzy. Upon the sunny, I found another devil fruit <gasps> to op no open. No way! I started to test the devil fruit out on the straw hats, and I was a little confused on how to use it, but I know a lot of people say that the OP OP no me is really OP in the anime. I mean, it's literally in the name. And on the topic of devil fruits, comment down below which devil fruit is your favorite. For me, my favorite devil fruit has to be the clear clear fruit, because then I can become invisible, and I will use it in a way just like Sanji would. To fight evil. Anyways, I sailed out the next day and okay. raided this marine ship using my new devil fruit abilities. I made a helm and tried to sail this navy ship, but it was just way too big. There was another smaller ship nearby, so I went and hijacked that one instead. I put a helm on the smaller ship, but it also just started sinking. I tried to make some floaters to hopefully stop it from sinking, but it, it didn't even work, so I was going to have to build my own ship from scratch. I started to head back to the mainland and found a marine base nearby for me to temporarily stay at. I started to collect resources for the ship, but then I realized that I should probably enchant my tools first so I could be even more efficient. However, I realized that I didn't even have any lapis on me, so I would have to go deep into the mines and go find some. I also found some obsidian while I was down there so then I could eventually go to the nether. And after getting a decent amount of lapis, I headed back up to the surface, went to the old marine base and enchanted my tools and armor there where I got efficiency 4 and protection 4. Prot 4? Heck yeah. I spent day 14 chopping down dark oak trees and man do I love these tree chopping mods. I also explored the world looking for spruce and just admired at how beautiful this world was. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I made a quick stop by Arling Park to slap this man real quick and also steal his beef kebabs. And then the next day, I saw the going Mary. Oh my gosh, it's the Mary. The Mary. Oh, it's so pretty. Look how glorious it looks. Oh, it's the entire cruiser, Luffy. Chopper, what's up my man? It's the emergency food. He looks so doopy. What does that even mean? Doopy, derpy. Oh my god, it's pretty time skip. Frankie, what's goody? Oh, nice panties. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, guys. Frankie, you got some hot cross buns, bro. Let me slap that. Oh, <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Hey, I'm sorry, Frankie. Let me slap your cheeks real quick. Zoro, what's good? Oh, Frankie's after me. What's up? Sanji? Not me. Hey there. Oh, all right. Get away from me, Frankie. Robin. All right, it was really nice seeing you guys. I started to look for rabbits in the desert because I needed rabbit hide to craft a backpack, but for some reason, rabbits just didn't spawn in this world. However, I did find something else that no one would have expected to be in the desert. Is this the Barati? Why is the Barati? What is the Barati doing in the middle of the desert? I guess the Barati's whole mission is to provide food to people in places where food is hard to find, and I guess the desert is one of those places. Oh, I wonder if there's food in here. Oh, look at this. Steak. Can I eat this? Can I eat it? Upstairs, I found Sanji's famous fried rice that he cooked for Gein, and eating it gave me a boost of energy. It was definitely Uncle wait, Roger no. approved. No way. This wait, Sanji's fried rice is actually nutritious and delicious. I took out Don Creek in the back and he dropped his giant spear which literally covered up half of my screen. In the evening, I discovered the Ferris Rotnot's lair so I decided to take the armored knight on. What's up? Oh shoot. Oh my god, I'm actually stuck. Uh. Come on, come on, Kelly! Holy crap, he's tanky. I need him to slap me. Okay, this is where we're going. And slap in real quick. Slap me down. Yes, let me just bazooka your back real quick. Uh. Oh. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, shoot. All right. Oh, he's got me trapped in a corner. All right, this guy's always really annoying to fight. Here we go. Oh my god, I just did so much damage to him. Pistol! Okay, so my Gomu Gomu no abilities don't work on this guy. Yes! Now let me just slap you in the back. Finally! 
Jeez. Dude, this guy was so thick, man. Jeez. I got the helmet and his weapon. Oh, yeah. After defeating the Ferris Rotnar, I found a mushroom house with redstone and cobwebs, which was literally perfect because I needed it to make a nature's compass. So I pointed the nature's compass in the direction of a spruce forest, but as I was traveling my way there, I saw this dungeon thing peeking out of the ground, and I was like, what is this thing? So I went to check it out, and I, I couldn't believe what I actually just found. Oh my... Don't tell me this is the end portal, end stronghold. What? Yeah, I just found the end stronghold without even trying to find it, but this was really good. I found an aether dragon in one of the chests which I would definitely hatch later on. But I would spend a long time walking through these maze-like corridors trying to find the portal room, and along the way I found a pair of diamond boots that had some decent enchantments on them. I also found the library which had a lot of cobwebs which I needed them to make floaters for the ship. And then I finally found the portal room. Let's go! So I started building a giant pillar up into the sky, so then whenever I do have the eyes and come back here, I will be able to find the portal immediately and just go right into the end. So I, I kind of realized that I made my temporary base right next to a pillager outpost. Like annoying neighbors, they would constantly come to my place and just start attacking me. So I'd psycho next door to give them a little bit of a beating. However, no matter how many times I killed them, these small fries just kept respawning over and over again. Eventually, I gave up and built a wall to hopefully keep them out. On day 19, I started to head in the direction of the spruce forest to gather some wood, and I spent the next day gathering dark prismarine blocks as well. Once I had all of the materials, I started to spend the next few days building the ship. After days of building the ship, I finally put the helm down and our ship was complete. Yes! We got our first ship! Oh my gosh, this thing is beautiful! Oh my god! I started to transfer all of my items from the base onto the ship and for some reason the chests were invisible, but they were there. I finished transferring all of the things on day 32 and patched up some of the flooding that was happening in the basement. And tomorrow, our pirate journey will officially begin. A new day begins. Today is the day that we finally become an official pirate. And I'm even going to put this pirate captain's hat on. Look at me. Oh yeah, we're official pirate now. Can't wait for our pirate journey to begin. Here we go. Woo! What the? Look at that guy. Jeez, man. I stopped by a weapon shop and they had a lot of cool legendary weapons including Griffin and Yoru. I also started hatching my fire dragon egg because I wanted a little companion to join me on my journey. Because I needed fish to tame my fire dragon, my mission for the day was to find either an Arlong Park or the Barati. And with a stroke of good luck, we actually found the Barati. And well, let's just say that Don Creek learned the hard way not to mess with me. Yeah, that's right. Goodbye. <laughs> I grabbed all the fish I could find in the kitchen and thought it was time to shift our focus to completing some of the quests. I set sail once again and encountered a skeleton pirate ship. But fear not me hearties, we fought valiantly and emerged victorious, claiming their treasures as our own. Arrgh. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good pirate impression, but my throat like hurts from doing that. 
In the midst of adventure, I decided it was time to venture into the nether. I didn't know if building a nether portal on the ship was going to work since the ship was a moving entity, so I took the precautions of backing up my world to avoid any game-breaking mishaps. And of course, the portal did not work. I, I knew this would happen. I, I was like, if I built this nether portal and the ship is moving, would I be in a different location every single time? that I like sailed away to a different location on the ship and another portal would move, right? Theoretically, I would be in a different location in another every time. So I was like, this would definitely break the game. And I guess it did break the game because it's, it's not supposed to. <gasps> Our dragon hashed already? What? Oh my God, he's so cute. Hey, hey there little guy. Wait, let me feed you some fish. Oh, yes. Oh my God. What should we name him? We'll name him, um, freaking Momonosuke. Yeah. Momonosuke. Because, you know, he's a dragon, and he's, like, tiny. And Momonosuke is, like, tiny, you know. I still wanted to go to Nether, so I docked the ship by a small island and constructed a working Nether portal there. However, as I entered the portal, I, I got trapped forever. I could not move, open my inventory, or break anything. I tried to use my Devil Fruit ability to <gasps> teleport oh. me out, and it did work, but I was still trapped and could not move. So I used room to teleport me out. Let's try that again. Nope. After struggling a bit more, I decided to just load into the world that backed up the previous day. It was a good thing that we backed up our world. <laughs> our, our dragon hasn't even hashed yet, but it's fine, it's fine. Oh, oh wow, look at this dragon. It's, it's not like this is our first time seeing the dragon or anything. <laughs> I sailed a little bit further away to make a new nether portal and this time luck was on our side and we successfully traversed into this fiery dimension. Once in the nether I wanted to trade with some oh, hey, piglins to get ender pearls but these greedy swines didn't give me a single one. There were some wither skulls lying around so I did manage to snatch a few and then I threw all of my gold at these guys and still did not receive any ender pearls in return. I explored this mighty bastion that was guarded by some of these rock throwing dudes, but undeterred by the danger, I stole some gold, netherite ingots, and even snagged myself a pretty nice diamond helmet. I also found another temple that had a Respiration 3 book in it, but it's not like I could actually use it because, you know, I can't swim. I continued my journey through the nether and stumbled upon this toxic waste area. This entire place was stained yellow like someone just let out a massive fart. But anyways, I found another bastion in the toxic waste area and got a efficiency 5 shovel too. The next day, I found a nether fortress and started harvesting some blaze rods. Yes! I also found these altar things and I thought to myself that this had to be some sort of boss fight. So I looked around and found these ignited revenant dudes downstairs which I killed and they dropped some burning ashes which I assumed I could use to summon the ignis boss. Burning ashes? Oh there's another one over here. I'm gonna get inside you. I wanna get inside you. I went upstairs to the altar and put the ashes in and I summoned ignis himself. Oh. Oh! Something's happening. Oh, oh, it's Ignis. Hey, yo. I, 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 oh my god. I'm gonna hit you with the bazooka. Gatly! Oh, I'm actually doing damage to him. Dude, this guy's attacks are so, like, dumb. Yeah, that's right. Oh, he turned blue. Oh. oh, he took a shootout. Bad move, buddy. Oh. Come on, come on, oh, Gatling. He's almost dead. Uh, finish you off. Come here! Yeah, that's right. That's right. What'd you drop? Ignium. Ignitium ingots. Some After defeating one? Ignis once, I thought it would be pretty funny to fight him again, but in my dinosaur form. We go into dinosaur mode. Alright. Rotary slash! Horizontal slash! Woo! 
Vertical slash! I hit you with the jump slash! Boom! Where'd he go? Oh! Oh shoot! I just blasted him so far away! Yeah, that's right. Get out of here, man. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Let me teabag on his body as a dinosaur. <laughs> I looted some more bastions and even found some marines in the nether. There's also this thing called the mid game citadel. And there were endermen chilling here, and I needed the balls. I need your balls. Bruh. Why are there no balls? I did find some balls in the chest though. Balls in the yes, balls! Let's go! On day 40, I crossed paths with netherite monstrosity, and for some reason, this man was bowing down to Yo, me. Yo, are you praying down? Are you praying to me? Oh, yeah. Look at him. Look at him praying to me. I was able to kill a giant monster pretty easily and got his hammer as a reward. So, the last time that I killed the netherite monstrosity, I didn't realize that this area had a lot of ancient debris, so I made sure that I got every last bit of it. My inventory was getting really full at this point, so I thought this would be a really good time to start making my way back to the nether portal and back to the ship. Honestly, the nether was pretty peaceful. And with all the netherite that I had, I was able to make myself a full set of netherite armor. And on top of that, I was able to use the ingots dropped by Ignis to make myself one of the best armor in the game. Wow, that looks sick, dude. This is crazy. Look at me. I'm so dripped out. I am so dripped out right now. And I got the <laughs> the hammer as well. I also received the bulwark of flame shield from my quest rewards. And I was just feeling really powerful at this point. But I let that power get to my head as I accidentally killed Momonosuke. Oh! What? <gasps> no! I just accidentally killed Momonosuke! No. Oh no, 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 no. I'm so sorry. I need to make a grave for Momonosuke. Rest in peace, Momonosuke. You were an amazing friend and a dragon. The best dog I've ever had. Please, accept some of your favorite fish. As an offering i'm so sorry that i accidentally killed you i hope wherever you are you look down upon us and guide us through the seas may you rest in peace homonosuke sleep easy my friend with the memory of Momonosuke still fresh in my heart, I made a decision to hatch some more dragons. While waiting for the eggs to hatch, I headed back to Nether with all of the gold that I had to try my luck again in trading for Ender Pearls with the piglins. Let's go! I got nine total Ender Pearls, which is like a good amount. It's like enough for us to go to the end. The next day, I saw Kaido and Kizaru nearby. With the new armor and devil fruit abilities, I thought I was now strong enough to take these two. Let me on. hit you with that bazooka! Woo! Alright, Kizaru. Hit you with the bazooka! Yeah, that's right. That's right. Room. Shumbus. <laughs> Let me get this, get, give this dude a beating real quick. Dude, Kyle just tanked that. Alright, let me head into gear two. Where'd he go? Gatling! Yeah, that's right. Pistol! Dude, I just blasted him. Dude, I got his glasses. Holy crap. And his chin sponder stale. Alright, Kaido. I can't even hurt him. Yo, what's up? How's it going? 
Why is he not fighting back? Oh, he's fighting back now. Pistol! Pistol! Yo, Kaido, you see that right there? You see that? Boop! Dude, he is not fighting back at all. I mean, it's cool with me, I guess. Dang, I just killed Kaido. That is crazy. After defeating the two, I headed back to the ship and my fire dragon had hatched. <gasps> my dragon hatched. Hey, little guy. Alright, I'm naming you Momo Josuke. Yeah, Momo Josuke. Yes, Momo Josuke. Sit down, Momo Josuke. We're waiting for your brother or sister to hatch right now. How's that sound, Momo Josuke? She'll probably hatch um, pretty, pretty quickly. Wait, hold on. <laughs> what if I, like, sat on it? I'm like, <laughs> this is what dinosaurs do, right? Keep it, keep the egg warm, you know? <laughs> Dude, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, look at me. Oh yeah, Momo Josuke. This is how you uh, take care of little baby eggs, you know? You gotta sit on it. Man, just ignore my stupidity. But not long after my Aether Dragon hatch, the two dragon siblings will join me on my journey. Look at you guys. Brother and sister, what should I name you? We'll name you... We'll name her Jolene. Jolene. Yes, Jolene. Alright guys, you guys ready? You guys ready to set sail? The ship was stuck for some reason, so I had to disassemble and reassemble it, and it kind of messed up the entire ship. The dragons also got teleported into the basement, and I tried to get them back up, but they just ended up teleporting to me on an island. And then I realized that Momo Josuke was weak to water like me, and uh, he died. No, 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 do not go in the water. No! Why are you going in the water? Oh my gosh, I'm not... Oh man. I don't think I was meant to raise dragons, guys. I wanted to set sail, but Jolene was rebelling. She refused to get on the ship, and I tried everything I could, and it was just so annoying. So I had to spend an entire day and night waiting for her to grow up, so then I can put a saddle on her and manually get her back on the ship. I made it back to where our old base was, and I made a name tag for Jolene. As I was getting ready to take off with Jolene, we started getting attacked by some pirates. Oh my gosh. Why are you dying? Who? Who's hurting Jolene? Get out of here. No! Who? Oh my god. The death of Jolene sent me off the edge. And I would go on an absolute rampage. Go away, man. You are so annoying. I... It, do you know... Do you understand the pain I went through to wait for Jolene to grow up? And stop rebelling? And then you just decided shoot her to death as we were about to literally depart no a kainu go die you everyone just so annoying i'm about to fight all three of the admirals right now kizaru fujitora and a kainu they're all here Akainu, I hate you the most. I hate you the most. Bazooka! Alright, I think I killed Akainu. Oh my god, it's Luffy Gear 5! Gear 4! Holy crap! Sorry, Fujitora. Where's Kizaru? Where's Kizaru? Kizaru! Where are you? Come out of hiding. Come out of hiding, Kizaru. I know you're hiding somewhere. Oh, I found you! Yeah, you know what?
He disappeared. Alright, yeah, there you are. After letting out some steam, I started to head for the end stronghold. When I got there, I dropped down into the hole that I made and put all my eyes in, and the portal opened. Alright, let's go. Where's the ender dragon? Where are you? Hello? There you are. Hey, guess what? I can just fly to you. I can gepo my way to you. Look at that. It's gonna destroy these real quick. Just, you know. doesn't hurt him. Dude, this is taking so slow to kill this guy. He's landing, he's landing. Come on. Let me kill this guy. Two more hits. One more. Three more. One more. One more. Come on! Yes! Give me the XP. After killing the Ender Dragon, I made my way to the Outer Islands, and it was a really pretty sight to see. Jeez, that is beautiful. Wow. Oh, look at that! What is that? Look how pretty that is! This is my first time in the Better End mod. That is beautiful. <gasps> what is that? Whoa! It's like a manta ray. It's like a phantom, I guess. Wow, look at this. So beautiful. Oh my god, there are like trees here, like green ones. Look at this. This is so pretty. I was searching for the end city so I could grab myself an elytra, and on my way I encountered a lot of different things in this dimension like this corporate tower, an eternal portal, and all these cool new biomes, but eventually I spotted an airship in the distance above an end city. Is that a end ship? Boom, 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 boom. <gasps> yes sir! What is this? An ender crate? Oh my god. Oh, it's so cute. There were a lot of shulkers on this hey, airship that just kept constantly shooting at me. No! But eventually, I made my way to the bottom of the ship and got myself an elytra. Alright, give me that. Yes, sir. The sky's the limit. Can I craft this? No, I can't. I also looted all the chests here and also got a lot of shulker boxes from the city structure itself. I did find a few more end cities and looted all of them as well and I wanted to find an end boss but I didn't find any on my journey so I decided to head back to the overworld. Once I got back, I continued my journey through the seas and sang a sea shanty that I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho ho, yo ho ho, yo ho ho ho. 
Gather up all of the crew, it's time to ship out Pinks' brew. Seeing wind blows to where, who knows, the waves will be our guide. Oh, across the ocean tides, sprays of sunshine far and wide. Birds they sing of cheerful things in circles passing by. Bid farewell to Weaver's Town, say so long to Port Renown. Sing a song, it won't be long before we're casting off. Cross the gold and silver seas, the salty spray puts us at ease. Day and night to our delight, the voyage never ends. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho ho. Oh, where am I? I did not mean to come over here. Also explored Law's submarine and slayed Law himself. My man Law! Whoa, Law, relax, I have your devil fruit. Room! Shambles. <laughs> Look, we just swap positions. See, I have your devil fruit. Look, I can even grab your heart if I wanted to. Room. Oh, look at that, I have your heart. I don't know what it does though, but like, it's pretty cool. Look, I have your heart. Whoa, 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 la, 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 la. Relax, bro, relax. Relax, my brother. Hey. Goodbye, law. I'm sorry I had to come to this. Ooh, you dropped your hat, though. <gasps> we got law transponders now. As I kept sailing and singing, I eventually ran into someone really powerful. Actually, I'm looking, and I think I just found Shank's ship, so I'm gonna... <laughs> Turn my FOV up and fight him. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna fight Shanks. Like, look at my armor and my double fruit. Like, I don't think Shanks can even, like, defeat me right now. Shanks was one of the strongest pirates in One Piece, and I thought I was ready to take him on. I had to take out a bunch of small fries, but then I ran into Kuma and Ace, two really strong devil fruit. Leaders. What is going on? Oh my god, why is Kuma here? No wonder Shanks is dying. What? Ace is here too! What is going on in this ship? Ace had the flare fall oh through, my god. so he was absolutely just burning the whole entire ship up. Holy crap! Oh my god! Oh! Holy crap! Yo, relax Ace, any hit gear 2! Gear 2! Bazooka! I need heal, holy crap! Dude, Ace is so strong! Bazooka! Holy crap! I need heal, I need heal. Gatling! Where is he? He's burning the ship. Is he dead? No way he's dead. The fire was spreading really fast and I knew I had to go find Shanks before this entire ship burned down. I eventually found Shanks in the captain's room and he was already half injured somehow, but I still wanted to take him on. Are you having a battle of Luffy? Holy, holy crap, you're actually kind of strong. But you're already like half dead, Shanks. I'm sorry. <gasps> oh no, he's not dead. Come on, Gatling! Oh my god. I'm actually scared. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm so scared right now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh my god, he's actually gonna kill me. Gatling! Holy crap. Dude, he's actually gonna kill me. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where he went, but he got me so low. I'm like pretty sure he just fell into the ocean. Shanks has got to be here still somewhere. He's not. Where did Shanks go? Well, the battle is over regardless. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened, but Shanks just went ultra instinct mode and just started slapping me silly. As I was escaping Shanks' ship, I accidentally fell into the ocean and would not be able to swim my way back up. I was in a little bit of a pickle. I, I can't swim back up because I had eaten multiple devil fruits, so the only way for me to get out of here was dig underground. Alright, let's just focus on getting to the island. 
Oh. Eventually, I was able to dig my way to an island and get to the surface safely. And then, when I made it back to my ship, there was another pirate, a really strong one, waiting for me. Oh! Why is Mihawk on my ship? Oh, Mihawk, this isn't the, um, the episode where you fight Zoro with a knife. Uh... I'm not gonna try to mess with you as as I just saw that I got completely wrecked by Shank, so I'm gonna go to bed. Oh my god. Can I not sleep because you're on the ship right now? So I gave Mihawk a ride back to land, and since he's the world's strongest swordsman, I asked him to join my pirate crew. Mihawk, why don't you join my pirate crew? I could use someone as strong as you. Join my crew, Mihawk. No! <laughs> why not? Why don't you want to join my crew? Why not? Please, Mihawk, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I need your strength to take out Shanks. Because we all know that you're stronger than Shanks, right? No? If you say you're not stronger than Shanks, then we'll have to put that to the test now. Don't we? Come over here. We shall fight. Like men. Oh my. I need to put the shield up. Here he comes. Oh shoot! Vertical slash! It just blocked my vertical slash! Strong slash! Oh! Room! All of my. I have to eat this. I can't. I can't fight him. Holy crap, he, he's not even damaged at all. Dude, I can't fight him. Nope, 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 nope. I just looked at his health, and he has 320 out of 360. That's actually nuts. That's actually nuts. All right, let's, let's get away from here. Oh my God, the boat is sailing so slowly. I have to put Colt. He's coming, he's coming. Oh my God. He's coming. I, I can't go. Hurry. Get down into the fuel room. Oh my god. We need to run. We need to run from this man. This man is way too powerful. This man is way too powerful. Go, 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 go. See you later. I'm out. Oh my god. That was scary, man. Oh. Yeah, I was wrong about Mihawk. He was definitely way stronger than Shanks. After being utterly defeated by both Shanks and Mihawk, I knew I had to get stronger. Something must change. From now on, I'm gonna train, and I'm gonna become the strongest pirate there is. I'm gonna become the Pirate King, because, you know, like, I, I just got absolutely handed. <laughs> I got my booty cheeks handed to me by Mihawk. Yes, this whole entire time that I've been playing this mod pack, I've been playing with a limiter, but I think it's time to remove my limiter. Yeah, I had a power limiter on this entire time. If I didn't have the limiter, I would just be one-shotting everything. It, it wouldn't make it very fun or challenging for me. So with my limiter removed now, I decided that Nell ship would be the first place for me to start training my Devil Fruit abilities. Oh, there you are. What's up, my man? How you doing? Oh, well, relax, buddy. Oh, what's down here? Oh, shoot, your eyes are blue. That does not look good. You might need to get that checked out, bro. Come back up here. Come up here. Here, how about we do this? We use my shambles on you, alright? Shambles. Yeah, there we go. We switched places. I was able to teleport you back up. Okay? This is training. Training for me to defeat Mihawk, alright? I literally beat you in an arc. That was pretty early on in the season. What the frick? What the heck is that? I've never seen this form before. Get slapped in the face, boy. Slap the face, boy. Fatty. Why'd you turn so fat, bro? Oh. Slap in the face, boy. Oh, yeah. You like that? Slap in the face, boy. <laughs> Let's go. I also found a hidden room in the back that I guess the devs didn't finish. Stop. Please stop. What's going on? No. Stop. 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 To be continued again. What do you mean? What were they hiding from me? Oh, is it because this room isn't decorated? That's funny, bro. 
I had to rebuild some of the bookshelves because they were messed up from me reassembling the ship, but I was able to put efficiency 4 on my axe. Then I grabbed all the diamonds and emeralds I had saved up and traded them for Yoru. Nice. Yoru isn't as good as the Infernal Forge in terms of damage, but it should be faster. Oh my god. Get out of here, man. With this cool new sword, I decided to test it out on some admirals nearby. All three of the admirals are just chilling. Oh my gosh, Fujitora has me pinned down on the ground. As I was training, I unlocked Conqueror's Hockey and some other cool new abilities. Jeez, relax! I don't have my strong vertical slashing. <gasps> we just unlocked gear four. Vertical slash! Dude, look how sick our slash looks now. All right, Odin. All right, I'm about to hit them with a crazy sword attack that I, I invented. 69,000 pound Phoenix! <laughs> 69 420 Phoenix! Jeez, they're almost dead. Or actually, Fujitora is dead. Oh my god, we have Conqueror's Hockey! We unlock Conqueror's Hockey! Akaido, yield to my Conqueror's Hockey. Where did he go? Yield to my Conqueror's Hockey! Okay, never. He's, he's, he, there's no effect on him. But yes, we have a Gear 4 unlocked. Let's try it out. Oh my god! Look at us! Dude, wait, I need to take the shield off. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Relax, relax. Oh, there he is. Oh, come here, Kainu. Gear four. Holy crap. Do we have any, oh my God. Gomu Gomu no King Kong gun. I gotta try this out. Jeez, oh my God. We just unlocked gear five as well. Yeah, within a day of training, I was able to unlock Conqueror's Hockey, Gear 4, and Gear 5 on my Gomu Gomu no Mi Devil Fruit. I met some new friends named Olaf and Elov, and then I noticed that I had the Gravity Blade, which I assume I got from slaying Fujitora at some point. This thing basically can apply immense gravity on my enemies, forcing them into the ground. Olaf and Elov were teleporting from blocks to blocks as I travel, but then tragedy struck as Elov died to Buggy. Who's Elov? No! Buggy, how dare you slay Elov? Because of Elov's death, I gave Olaf my Ignis armor because I wanted to make sure that he was the strongest NPC known to man. You are gonna be the strongest man, the strongest NPC that's ever lived. Blazerite bow. Whoa, whoa, get him. Get that man. Yeah, get that man. Get him. Yeah, shoot him to death, Olaf. Yeah, Buggy. Don't mess with my... NPCs, bro. Don't mess with my crewmates. Whoa, you better stay back there. Olaf, get him. Go, Olaf, go. Yes, beat him up. Oh, Olaf is winning. Yes, Olaf. Look at this dumb, stupid clown. He was the man who killed your friend. Remember that, Olaf. Remember that. Use the rage. Use the rage to kill him. That's it. That's it, boy. That's it. Yes, use the rage. Fight him off. Fight him off. Olaf, fight him off! Yes! Good job, my man. I built Olaf a little hut beside the ship, but then as I was examining his inventory, he just combusted. Oh! Olaf just exploded. I, I have no words. Let's all have a moment of silence for Olaf, the strongest NPC that has ever lived. I thought it was time to switch up my devil fruit again, so I went to search for a new devil fruit and actually found the pawpaw <gasps> fruit, and the attacks for this thing was really sick. Okay, I wanna go try it out now. All right, uh, it's cool if I try this out on you guys. Oh, that was Z, X, counter? Wait, what does counter do? Uh, G. What does this do? Oh my God! Holy crap, dude! No way! Oh my God! That was sick. I spent the next day just exploring and found this ruins area and some strawberry scones that were pretty yummy. Ooh, strawberry scones? That looks delicious. On day 60, I thought it was a bit too long since the last time that I brought out the dinosaur form, so I decided to play around with it again. Huh, interesting. What the heck? Oh my gosh, wait, this is actually so funny. Look at this, guys. Oh, 
Wait, hold up. Oh my god, look at this. Look at me. It's because I have the lights on. Dude, this is so funny. Whoa. I found Big Mom and I defeated her pretty easily. I also tried to tame a horse, but then just got attacked by Fujitora. And then I spent the night exploring this place called the Thornborn Towers, and it was actually a really pretty sight to see. It's beautiful. I flew around exploring the world for a bit, and then made my way back to the ship. I realized that I could get something called a blazing rod for my quest rewards, so I wanted to test this thing out and spent the entire day fishing. All oh, this fish that I got from fishing? Oh yeah. I started sailing out again, and guess who I found? I found the Whitebeard Pirates. Oh shoot, it's Whitebeard! Wait, I gotta fight this guy. Ooh, where you at? Hey, yo, white beard. Yeah, man. What? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? I can literally blast you away with bazooka. What about like, got Lee? I'm gonna um, just absolutely destroy you real quick. All right, it's gonna break your ship, probably. All right. Uh, oh, there you are. All right, goodbye, white dude. Oh, who is this? <gasps> what? Do I feel so bad now? Man, I have so much respect for this man. Like, look how he died so honorably. And he let me learn how to use his weapon, the Basento, as well. What a man. What a Chad, yo. My man is a Giga Chad. Can we get much higher? So high. My ship got stuck again somehow, so I had to again disassemble it and just made it more messed up. Like, it was so messed up that it was now sailing backwards instead of forwards. Like, how did this even happen? However, I was able to find Shanks' ship again, and I managed to defeat him pretty easily this time with my new powers. Because the ship was getting really deformed, I wanted to build a completely new airship, so I started looking for sugar cane to craft balloons. I explored some bandit towers, and inside of the tower, there was actually a stage, and so I decided to test out some comedy skills. Alright, what does Ace and Whitebeard have in common? They both like to cosplay as donuts. And I pulled my pants. Man, never let me become a comedian, guys. I can never make any of you guys laugh. Aside from the bad stand-up, fate had another surprise in store for me. Mihawk, the renowned swordsman, was waiting for me on the roof, and this time, I was not going to back down. Mihawk, I'm ready to fight you. <sighs> oh, he fell off. Where'd he go? Did he fall all the way down? Ah, there you are. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. I'm gonna become the greatest swordsman and the pirate king. Come on! Yeah. Goodbye, Mihawk. Oh! That did nothing to him. Come on, come on, get Link! You second! That's right. Gear four, real quick. Bounce, man. Gatling. King Kong gun. Bazooka. Gatling. I'm out of food. Oh no, this is not good. How are they still not dead? Maybe I gotta go into dinosaur form real quick. Yes! <gasps> the strongest swordsman in the world. We finally beat Mihawk. Dude, that took so long. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. I started looking for sugarcane again and stopped by the Barati for a quick meal. And then, guess what? I realized that I forgot to press record for the next few days. So uh, I'm just going to reenact what I did in replay mod. Man, I'm all out of string. I need to go look for some. Oh, hey, look, it's a pagoda. I wonder what's inside. Yo, -ho, it's my man, Odin. Let me just give you a good beating real quick. All right, I really need string. There's probably some in this cave. Hey, let's go. I hit the white sticky jackpot. All right, now that I got all my materials, let's start building this airship. 
Just kidding, I actually don't like how it looks, so I'm actually gonna restart and completely build something else. Alright, this actually looks really good. Let me just add some finishing. What the f- And yeah, after that, I started recording again. But basically, I spent the next few days building the house because I thought it'd be pretty funny if I attached a bunch of balloons on top and made it fly like the house from up. But then I ended up not liking how it looked, so I scrapped the whole thing and decided just to build something completely different. Oh yeah, and just like that, the SS Squidward was complete. Ooh. What? Yo, this is sick. The flying SS Squidward. It was so ugly, man. I'm honestly starting to question my building skills at this point. Guys, tell me that I'm a good builder. I spent the next day moving all my stuff into the airship. So now that I finished the SS Squidward, I was planning on heading to the Twilight Forest dimension to complete some of my quests there and slay some beasts. So I steered the ship into a flower field and made my first Twilight Forest portal. Oh! I've actually never been to this dimension before, so it was quite the experience. There was a snowy area nearby which had a cave with a lot of yetis and I couldn't damage them because I think I was supposed to defeat the bosses here in a chronological order but I found a way to kill them anyway. My conqueror's hockey will take them out. Bow down. That's right. I later found an aurora tower and it was wow. really pretty but I couldn't break any of the blocks here. These little purple bear dudes kept teleporting on me and they dropped a book that talked about a pointy wizard tower. So I thought maybe if I killed this wizard, it would give me the ability to break blocks. So that's what I did. I went out and killed the wizard. I found a naga which was this really ugly snake looking thing so I slayed it and there was also this labyrinth nearby which I needed to find a minnow shroom in order to progress through this dimension. I literally ran and ran throughout this entire labyrinth for so long and I just could not find a single mineral shroom. So eventually after spending the entire day running in circles, I just gave up. I went out to find the Hydra monster and the Hydra was actually really close to the labyrinth. So I started attacking it but I realized I couldn't do any damage to it unless I eat this thing called the Meat Stroganoff. And guess who drops this? Yeah, the mineral shrooms in the labyrinth. So back I go to the maze like labyrinth running around trying to find this minnow shroom and after such a long time I finally found the minnow shroom, killed him and grabbed his meat. Oh thank goodness. After eating his meat strong enough I went back to the hydra and for some reason I still couldn't attack it. So I tried everything I could and realized that only the pawpaw fruit ability could damage it for some reason. Oh that worked a little bit okay. So using my pawpaw fruit, I was able to slowly chip away at its health. Let's go! And after defeating the Hydra, the next monster I wanted to slay was the Yurgas. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it, but it was located in the dark forest and as I got closer to the center of the forest, my vision started to get impaired. I made a little rest stop and put my shulker down and then I realized I couldn't pick it back up again because the area was protected. It was kind of stupid. I looked online and found out that I needed to kill the lich in order to lift the blinding curse and I already killed the lich earlier but I think because I didn't kill the bosses in order it didn't count so I went to find another lich's tower to slay another lich. So after I killed the lich I went back to the forest and I was still blinded. So I just said, you know what, I'm just gonna fight this thing blind. Right, where this thing at? Hello? Oh, there you are. I don't know where you are, but... Where are you? Are you this way? Hello? I'm a blind man. Oh, I found you! Oh, where'd you go? Alright. Where are you? Oh, I found you. Aha! Wait, that was that not it? Must be another one. Where are you? I found you. She's up here somewhere. Oh, wait. Is 
Yes! I killed it. Using my observation hockey. I'm just kidding. I don't even know. I literally just walked around in the dark until I found it. But it took me a while, but we did it. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I feel like we've spent enough time in here. Oh, it feels so good to be able to see you again. I came back out of the Twilight Forest and was greeted by the handsome SS Squidward. <laughs> Look, it's the SS Squidward. The next boss I wanted to fight was Frostmaw, so I pointed my nature's compass to the nearest snow biome to find this beast. On day 84, I made it to the snowy taiga and ran into some hiking bears. After showing my respect to them, I found Frostmaw nearby and would be able to slay him pretty quickly. What is goody? Come on, boy. Oh my gosh, I actually just destroy this man. The next day, I found a gatekeeper. He had a portal to the Everdon, so I decided to light it up and head inside. And inside the dimension, there was a wizard tower nearby, and I was able to find all four of the keys that allowed me to summon the alchemist. All right. What are you at? Dude, this man is teleporting everywhere. Strong slash? Oh, uh, there's water there. There we go. A dusk arc. Grant's invisible while sneaking with smoke. After defeating the alchemist, I started looking for a poison dungeon. I flew so far away looking for this thing, and eventually, I finally did. <gasps> yes, I found it. The spider's lair. It was deep underground, and this place was just like the labyrinth. Running around for a very long time, I was looking for all four of the keys for me to unlock the very last floor. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, but I did find all four keys and was able to fight the giant spider boss. What's goody? Boy. Come here, boy. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get off of me. Yes. <gasps> Look at him. Yeah, die. Because I had traveled so far away, I literally spent an entire day flying back to the portal to get back to the overworld, but eventually I did make it back. On day 89, my ship started going out of control and this would lead to some difficulties. Uh. Why is my ship moving on its own? Hey yo, look, my ship is moving on its own. SS Squidward, where are you going? Oh my god, I'm actually gonna lose it. Stop, SS Squidward! Come on, please. Come on, please. Yes. After tirelessly chasing down the ship, I finally managed to catch up to it and bring it to a stop. I then spent the entire rest of the day looking for new devil fruits and I actually found two. The first devil fruit I found was the Suke Suke no Mi, also known as the Clear Clear Fruit. And all this devil fruit does is basically turns me invisible or anything else that I touch invisible. The other devil fruit that I found was the Doku Doku no Mi, also known as the Venom Venom Fruit. In my opinion, this devil fruit is actually really strong in the anime. Like, you literally become untouchable because you're just surrounded by venom. The only downside, of course, is the uncontrollable diarrhea you get from it. So, I forgot to press the record button again, but I basically spent day 90 flying around and exploring the world. And on day 91, I started to build a dragon pen to start hatching dragons again. And I had to go to the nether to grab some magma blocks because I really wanted one of them to be a fire dragon. My dragons hatched the next day and I was able to feed them and tame them. On day 93, I wanted to start collecting devil fruits and seeing how many I can find in the last few days that I had left. So I went looking around at all the different types of structures to look for them. And in the evening was when I realized that I wasn't recording and I was in the middle of a fight with Shanks. Oh my god, it's Shanks. But my my no me version of Shanks. Oh no, he got me in the water. He knows I'm a devil fruit user. Alright, here we go. Pistol!
Shanks is so much stronger. Oh! Jeez! Gatling! my guy oh let's go since I forgot to record the last few days I did find two devil fruits and I wanted to show you guys I want to show you guys that uh, I got the the gomu gomu no mi prime piece devil fruit and the kage kage no mi those were pretty cool pretty cool I also found this crab guy by the beach his name was hermit Harold. I came on board Shanks' ship and started raiding it for devil fruits and I was actually able to find the Ito Ito no Mi which was the string string fruit and the Hia Hia no Mi the ice devil fruit that Aokiji has. However because the ship was close to an ocean temple oh no. I kept getting mining fatigue. Oh, I can't. Stupid guardians got to me. I have mining fatigue for 4 minutes. This sucks. Because of my mining fatigue, one of the devil fruits got wedged into a crevice and I had to blast it out carefully to get it. Oh. Yes! What is it? The go 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 no me. With that I managed to add the go go no me and the chio chio no me to my collection. But on day 95 I was getting really annoyed at the elder guardians constantly giving me mining fatigue so I went to teach him a lesson. Get out of here man. And I would continue to find even more devil fruits and I'm not even gonna name them all out because there was just a lot but I'm just gonna say that Shanks' ship was literally a devil fruit paradise. It's actually kind of funny how there are so many devil fruits on this ship, but none of Shanks' crew members are devil fruit eaters. I got back to my dragon pen and guess what? My fire dragon died again. What? Bro, why is it always the fire dragon? Man, I feel so bad. Honestly, at this point, you should just call me Natsu, the fire dragon slayer. There was also a gear 5 Luffy nearby and so I went to fight him and he dropped a one piece music disc so you already know that we were going to jam out to it. Hey, And that's all you get. <laughs> I have not tried to get demonetized a copyright strike. I'm a broke college boy bro. But anyways I spent the entirety of the next two days just testing out all these cool new devil fruits that I got. Honestly, let's do the Shiku Shiku no Mi because it's the lamest probably and like literally we just go up to people and we press Z, X, yeah we just plague them and then see chronic fatigue and feminization. Honestly not that cool. Let's try the Go Go no Mi. Go Go no Mi. I want to see what it does. Try it on these um, these sheep. I feel bad for the sheep but... Oh! So it's like kind of like the um, the Skyrim freaking scream, right? Whatever. I've never played Skyrim before. Yeah, I literally just started screaming. This would be a perfect devil fruit for Karens. You're just like at Walmart. Imagine there's a Walmart employee. And he's like, excuse me. But yeah, pretty cool, I guess. The Moku Moku no Mi. This is Smoker's devil fruit. I think we should be able to fly with it, right? Oh yeah, look at us. We can fly. Oh yeah. Hey yo, Fujitora! White Storm! Yeah! Hey yo, get out of here, boy! I don't even remember what the Kage Kage no Mi is. We'll have to find out. Let's see what this is. Kage Kage no Mi. Let's eat it. Oh, it's the devil fruit. The, the, I'm not devil fruit. It's, it's a, the shadow one. It's the one um, Gekamoria has, right? It summons a bunch of bats on him. But X. What does that do? Whoa. 
Whoa, I can freeze him. So many bats. You like that? Oh, yo, you got something on your head there. <laughs> what does G do? Doppel man. Oh, get him. Get him, Doppel man. Yeah, attack him. Get him, Doppel man. Get him. Let's go. You're crazy, man. Let's try the Hia Hia no Mi. This is the one Aokiji has. Probably like one of my favorite devil fruits as well. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this is sick. Wait, hold up. I need to find some victims. Oh, perfect. Bellamy. What does X do? Hit an enemy. Oh, it freezes them. What's this? Yo, I got a bike. Wait, I wonder if I can ride it on the ocean. Oh my gosh, this works. No way. I wonder if you know, if you see in Tokyo. If you see me, see me. Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying, bro. The Chiu Chiu no me. This one seems kind of lame, but... Oh, I think it gives me regen, right? Maybe? Wait, hold on. What does this do? I'm, like, shooting something out. Oh, look at that buggy. There's how the Ito Ito no me. I can shoot string at him. What is this? Oh, my God. There's a string. It's, like, attached from the ceiling. Oh, my gosh. All right, I got a cage now, so like, if you guys wanna go out, you know, you'll die. Yo, Garp, this is perfect. Activate Buddha? Wait, how do I activate Buddha? H. Oh! What's up? X. Whew. I'm so confused. Get ready. Oh my god! That's right. So I wanted to find some people to test out the Meta Meta no Mi's powers, but as I was using its powers, I just started getting attacked by literally every single person on the planet. And this was literally the craziest battle that I had yet. Like the whole place turned into a war zone. Die and guy. What's up, Kuma? Ooh, get burned, baby. Fire fist. Call me Fire Fist Ace for a reason. You don't want the smoke, Kuro. I'm telling you, you don't want the smoke. That's what I said. Yo! Alright, Odin. You don't want the smoke. Oh, shoot. Luffy's fighting me as well. I must be mad. I have Ace's Dove Fruit. Gatling! Holy crap! They are not happy! Fireball! Oh my god, it's a Kainu as well. Holy crap, everyone's here! Oh my god, Fire Fist Aces. Everyone's here. Everyone's here. It is a battle. Holy. Oh my god. What the heck is going on? Oh my god. I am not ready for this. Guys, please. There's two old in this one. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my. This is crazy. This is actually nuts. Alright, hold on. I'm going to have to hit into gear for Galing I'm about to freaking die to these men <laughs> hit it. have to hit it into gear 5 real quick I don't even know what's going on but like the great war is happening right now you guys are watching the last chapter of One Piece. Dai and Kai. Jeez. Jeez. Oh my god, I want that devil fruit. That devil fruit is so cool. Alright, come on. All I have is Ace's devil fruit right now. Right, come on, come on. Oh, did I kill him? Let's go! 
Man, I wonder if this is how the battle of Akainu and Aokiji went because this entire landscape would have turned into punk hazard. But the battle wouldn't end there because I was about to eat probably one of my favorite devil fruits and use it in battle against Akainu. Let me demonstrate what power truly is. Come over here. Look at that, I am so fast, you can't even see me, bro. Get in here. You haven't seen anything yet. That's right. That's right. Oh, he's still alive. Maybe I gotta go in a dinosaur form, who knows? Oh, he's shooting his fist at me. All right, Kaido. Get rained on, baby. Oh, I'm on fire. Yeah, that's right. Jeez. Stay right here. Stay right there. Stay right there. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> Come, Raigo! You shall know what pain truly is. Kind of. Oh, you're still alive. Congrats. Out. Dead yet? Did I burn him to a crisp? Uh, I think it's safe to say he's dead. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> With the sun setting and day 100 approaching soon, I wanted to start looking for Roger because he only spawned at night. I thought fighting him would be the perfect ending to this 100 days and prove that I was worthy to be the Pirate King. So I went out and searched for him and fought many strong opponents along the way, even some of his former crew members. I'll definitely fight Rayleigh. Dude, I'm comboing him. Let's go! Dang! Well, it looks like I couldn't find Roger. It's day 100 now, but what do you guys think? You think I became the Pirate King? I think we did a pretty decent job. The sun finally rose on day 100, and although we couldn't fight Roger, I still think we would have been able to defeat him. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on this adventure. This was actually a really fun video to make besides the fact that my computer crashed like 70 times and also a malware was installed on my computer because of Curse Forge. But yeah, anyways, it was really fun. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. Please subscribe and peace.